So we're back in Breaking 2, and today we're going to be talking about the different roles in the game. There are six different roles. There are three different kid roles, and then there are three different adult roles. And the question is, is which one is best? And so today I'm going to be ranking them from the worst to the best. And it depends on what you're trying to go for. So if you're trying to go for level five strength, for example, you might want to go for something that has the potential for a lot more strength. But before I jump into this, please do be solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump into it. So much like my Bed Wars kit review, we're going to be going through the strengths and weaknesses of each of these roles. And I'm going to show you actual gameplay and what they do first one we're going to be going into is the nerd this is a paid for role so in order to be able to get this role you do need to spend 299 robux and sadly it's one of the worst roles in the game all right so as you can see i have a book in here and with this i can read and gain speed and strength now you can ignore the fact that i do have two speed here it's just uh one of the game passes give you an extra uh level randomly it'll sometimes start you out with an extra strength uh level or it'll start you out with an extra speed level um in this case with this guy you could pretty much you know hang out here um you actually don't need to follow them in by the way so if you're using this uh role you can pretty much stay back there near the truck where you first end up and it'll just teleport you inside. So it's kind of just a wasted trip. Pretty much no one really needs to go ahead. As long as one person goes ahead, you're in good shape. You just have to watch out for the hill that might land on you. You can see here though, both of these bars here, my speed bar and my strength bar is going up. Also, you're gonna sometimes get these math problems. You can see it says seven plus five, which is 12. And similar to the green bars, you know, when you're doing strength training, you know, you have to click in that little box or when you're on the treadmill, you have to kind of, you know, run in the squares this one gives you math problems instead it's just like basic basic plus you know like two plus two kind of stuff pretty easy math but you can see i'm about to level up here on strength and i'm just gonna do that so now we are level two strength already now you might be wondering why i consider this the worst role in the game currently and that would be because well it's terrible <laughs> there is a nice you know perk the fact that it's leveling both the speed and the strength but it's really really bad so i'm pretty much gonna hang out here for the most of the match and i'm gonna tell you you're gonna be lucky if you hit level four strength. Now, last match, I think I did get level four speed and that was because I started with uh, two levels of it already. But dude, it is just so slow. The other thing is in the last match I had, we had the perk, you know, the sports strength perk where everyone gets it. And so, you know, of course, like the delivery guy drops it off right here. And the sports strength, if you don't know what that does, it basically just um, speeds up the whole training process for the gym. It didn't seem to affect this that much. It was like, if it did affect it, it was a tiny, tiny, tiny amount but it wasn't so good as just like working out. You can see it's just kind of slowly creeping up here. And I'm gonna just go over here and show you the difference here. If I were to go and work out, let me go and grab this bench over here. All right, here's working out. Now, of course, this is focusing only one at a time. Um, and to my knowledge, you can't combine both. So you can't like combo them. But getting to level three strength is a lot faster just working out on the bench. You can see how much it like increases at a time. It's like, I don't know what that would be. That's that's like 1 20th at a time. And then going back to the book, let's see how much it does. It should do this much. Yeah, it's, it's just a little less. Now, the nice thing though is you can just sit here and for the most of the match, you don't even have to be like in here for it, which like I said, it is kind of nice, but it's not like so nice that you're gonna do as much as like any of the others. So for example, we got a bunch of other roles like the um, protector that's gonna do a lot more than this one. You've got the sports drink guy that's actually way powerful because you get sports drinks no matter what. Now I could go outside and get a sports drink from the dog if I really wanted to, but uh, right here, you can see we finally got level three on running and it really slows down and so you can see how slow this is though i don't know what the timing ticks are but i feel like it's way slower than the gym this is just barely moving now so yeah we're about to get like level three strength again the nice thing is you are leveling up two things at once that's that's a big difference between this and the others is that you can actually train both of them so i'm gonna go over here and not tame the dog but what we're gonna do is um I want to get the Gatorade over here to just show you how effective it is. Oh, shoot. I think they actually took the Gatorade. Did they take the Gatorade? No, they didn't. They didn't. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to sit down over here. I'm just going to let you see what it's like if I just kind of sit here and train before the sports bottle. It's not too bad. I mean, it's slow, but it's not too bad, right? All right. So now we're going to do this and we're going to get back to training. It, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. It could be affecting it a little bit. 
but it doesn't really look noticeable. Now, it could be because we have a lack of an animation, like whereas like up here, you have an animation of movement so you can tell the speed's working. So let's try right here. All right, we're gonna drink the drink real quick. Let's see how fast this is. Yeah, noticeable difference, dude. Look at that. It's like a split second. So it doesn't seem to affect the book reading at all, which is a big downside of this role. If you can't take advantage of the sports drink, there's no equivalent of speeding things up on here. The only equivalent is like, if you get those math questions, then you answer them, you know, correctly and sure enough, you get it. So yeah, I'm not really a big fan of this one. So let's head off to the next role, which is the protector. All right, the next role we're gonna be using is the protector. He comes with a bat. Like this is technically a paid item. It's a really good level. I think it's a legendary. I'm pretty sure it's a legendary item. And you know what? does a lot of damage the nice thing is you save some money with it you know you don't actually have to buy a better weapon which is really nice i mean the one nice thing about this is you know you do get the bat the other thing is you can do a really cool animation <laughs> so the protector comes preloaded with this bat like i said you can see over here it is a legendary item those typically cost money if you think about it like it's at the very end here so it saves me from having to buy any of those things which is really nice so i technically don't need any weapons although let's see like which is the best weapon here currently let's see since i don't have Hacker, I can't just look it up. Strongest weapon is the broom today. Now it's great that we do come preloaded with the bat, okay? So that is good. I'm not saying this is a trash roll, unlike the nerd. The nerd's kind of almost, almost kind of, uh, it is kind of useless. Unfortunately, the nerd's just one of the worst rolls in here. But comparatively speaking to like the sports guy or the medic or hyper, uh, this one's pretty bad. You know, just relatively speaking, it's not as good. I mean, you still have to train up the strength, so it's not perfect. I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I don't feel like this is a good role. I wouldn't choose this one over many of the others. Next up, we're gonna be using the Hyper. This is a lollipop girl, and what she does is she gives you speed. So eating the lollipop will give you a lot of speed. I'm gonna show that right now. All right, so with the lollipop girl, you do get this lollipop, like I said, you get 15 charges. So if you eat it, you see you get this little boost. Um, I wouldn't recommend using it the way I just did. It's kind of a waste. I see a lot of players doing this early game, and it's kind of silly, you know, trying to get to the door first uh there's no prizes for that there's definitely no prizes for being the first into the door there's not even a badge for that so don't waste your lollipop just for that okay it's not worth it you see there's people over here just jammed with their lollipops look at it dude i and i get that there's not many reasons to use it but definitely save it for maybe getting you know the detective or maybe you're trying to get that rainbow pizza maybe you're trying to be the first to get certain badges now um because of the fact that we do have the lollipop i would say focus on strength if you can thankfully I do start out with two uh, free strength levels, which is really nice. Now, if you really want to, you could train just running speed with this, which is kind of funny and troll when you're outside, since you can pretty much go get the golden apple if you want. You can also go outside to get the dog pretty quickly. So we got level five speed here, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the lollipop because this is actually, you know, let's combo it. We might as well see if we can combo this. All right, so this is with a Bloxy Cola. So we're gonna do the Bloxy Cola first. All right, this is how we fast we are. And then we're going to stack this. And this is with the extra charge. Dude, you could jam with this. Funny enough, we're out here already for the power going out. The other cool thing that I just noticed about the lollipop is it can heal you. So that's kind of like a double. Like, it's not like a crazy good heal. But that's kind of a double perk, right? So yeah, it's pretty good. The only thing I could see this really being helpful for, if you're trying to get that rainbow pizza badge and you want to run to that room as quick as you can to get the key first, that might be worth it. Otherwise, eh, it's okay. It's definitely better than the protector and the nerd, in my opinion, just because the speed is so helpful for getting like the golden apple badge, for being able to get the secret ending done, for being able to go and, um, you know, handle this one. There's a lot of badges that need speed. There's probably out of all things, there's probably more badges required for speed than there are for anything else in this, um, in the game currently. So definitely helpful for those. Uh, beyond that, I, it's not like my top choice. All right, next up is the medic here. This is a really helpful role. It comes with a med kit, which you can use to heal team members. So let's hop in here and I'll show you what that's like. So the main benefit of this one is when you select the med kit, you can see everyone's HP. So like without that, you can't see it. But when you select the med kit, you can see everyone's health and heal the player in the most need. So if you see someone like really, really low during the battle, this is a lifesaver. Literally, it, you, you will save their life. <laughs> this is one way to prevent players from like dropping like flies during the, you know, waves because most people don't even know how to play the game. And somehow they uh, tend to die. I don't know how they tend to die, but they do. All right, so you can see this person right here is pretty injured. So we're gonna go and heal them. Give them a little click. 
So they just got to heal for me. So yeah, this is a really helpful one. Um, you come with uh, five charges, which is pretty nice. Like the downside is you can only heal like five times. So you don't really want to over heal someone. Oh, this guy really, these two really need it. So we'll click this one. Oh, oddly enough, we can't click them while they're working out. So we'll go heal this person too far away. There we go. Brought them up at least halfway. So yeah, uh, it's pretty good. I would say hackers night and day better because you get to heal all. But this one's a really good one. Plus, you can also get a second one, I think, if you go um, upstairs and do the investigative uh, research, the expert investigator one, you get another free med kit. So you can pretty much heal everyone, go up there, do the challenge. You do need a little bit of speed. In fact, I think we could do it. Let's see if we can do it real quick. Let's see if we can do it. All right, there's the med kit. Let's see. We got three charges currently. We got it. Okay, so it just gives you another one. So now we have eight charges. It's pretty helpful. So we can go and heal these players real quick. Typically speaking, when you're doing a round, you're going to notice like half your players get killed. <laughs> I have noticed like I end up with like seven or eight players after like the second wave. All right, next up, we're going to show this sporty. This is a really cool one. I like this one a lot. This has to be like my second favorite. So from a free roll standpoint, this is the one to choose. It is. I, I'm surprised this one isn't the pay to win one because in my opinion, this one is way better than the nerd. All right, this favorite role of mine here. Okay, hacker's still my favorite because obviously hacker's next. We're gonna get into hacker in a little bit and all its doings and capabilities, but this one is actually my favorite. One is your small. I mean, who doesn't like being small like this? This is cool. No, but seriously, uh, this one is awesome because you get five charges of the gym juice, which essentially boost your workout. If you've never had one of these, um, you can get one for free through the doghouse outside. I'm gonna show you that in a second. So you can get your very own uh gym juice also there's a chance for the um game to give you that during the bonus so like the little um intermission bonus thing sometimes it gives you these as well for free so you can technically get three of them for free if you want you get it from their stash you can get it from the doghouse and you can get it from this roll so you can see how slow this is right now i'm gonna i'm just gonna wait until we get to level two here because you're gonna see the slow down there all right so here's level two so you're gonna notice it takes a lot longer right it's small ticks now if i boost myself you're gonna notice a lot faster ticks here. It just triggers a lot faster. See how much faster that is? It's really nice. You get faster combos. You just gotta be careful when you use these because sometimes if you use them um, in a bad time, like close to an intermission, that'll run out. So you'll waste it. So you kinda wanna, like after you use this one, you kinda wanna wait for the next intermission, which is gonna be coming up pretty quick here. So we have three, we might as well just go out and get the freebie. So we got the broadcast that's about to start. So we can head out here while that's happening because we don't really care. Can't work out anyway. So we might as well go out here before someone takes it. You're gonna head over to the doghouse and get one of these for free. So technically you don't need this one. It just comes with this for free, um, like I said. But yeah, just come over here, grab the item out of the box. Oh, we got rainbow pizza this time. That's a first. I didn't even know you can get that. Typically speaking, you get the Gatorade out of there, not rainbow pizza. So we're just gonna use that to give us a free level. So we're now we're level four, even better. I'd rather have that than the Gatorade. Finally, the most pay to win role you can get, which is the hacker here. So this is what the hacker looks like. You get the admin phone. This is a game pass only item. So you do need $12.99 to be able to get that. It, you know, it's $13, okay? It, it's, it's a lot of Robux, but it's totally pay to win. I'm gonna show you why. All right, so with the hacker, you do get this phone. It is absolutely the best role in the game because you get so much with it. So it's definitely pay to win. So first up, you have, you know, a text message here. You can just kind of skip that. It's just like a thank you for buying it. Um, Twato gives you like his favorite food. So if you want to be able to go and tame him to bring him into your crew, he's going to want a Bloxy Cola. Um, best weapon is going to be the Pitchfork. So that is if you're trying to complete that uh, particular badge or if you just want to have the best weapon, period. It's going to be the Pitchfork um, in this case. So it changes changes every single round if you didn't know that yet under fun you can change your size so you can go thick you can go thin you can go normal you can add particles so you can get like sparkles you can get fire you can get smoke which doesn't really show much but i guess it's kind of probably the most subtle one and then uh you can do none and then ghost will just turn you into kind of like a transparent or like half transparent player you can unghost to go back to normal you can also sit which is kind of funny it just puts you on the ground um, <laughs> and you can just hit jump to get out of that. And there's also big head. So you can go small head, you can go big head, and then you can go normal head. And then, um, under admin here is where the 
pay to win aspects come into play. So you get six charges of speed, which is just like the lollipop. So you basically get that. Um, you also get the equivalent of the sporty guy. So if you want to be able to do gym power up, you can do that. So you get that charge. You can also get eight things of money, which is pretty crazy. So you get uh, basically 160 for free. And then you get a heal all charge of a single heal all. So you can heal everyone in the game like that. You can see it just triggers everything. It's just like the um, golden apple, which is pretty OP. So yeah, this is a really good one if you want, you know, kind of the best advantage to win. Um, it's basically guaranteeing you win. So it's super helpful for badge grinding if that's your thing. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more break-in videos because we have updates coming up for the game. I know they're working on the next update. I think the last uh, word was it's going to be another week before our next update or less. Actually, it should be like this weekend. So keep an eye out for that video. If, if it does come out, I'll be making a video on how to complete it. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.